All right, I am back once again. I've been working on so many projects, but I wanted to get a video out for you. What I have here, this is a Mega. I have one line connected to this individually addressable LED strip. And I was thinking about ways to simplify the wiring of the overhead in the 737, or for other things too. The overhead in the 737 has like 100 lights or something like that. I've got um, I've got this set up for the Zybo 737 with its data refs. You can see some lights are on here. And they match some of the lights that are on. I can do a test. So I have all these set up in various colors. Uh, there's amber lights, there's blue lights, there's green lights. You can see here that, let's see if I can dim this. If I go to dim, you can see that the lights become a little bit dimmer to match. There's also, for instance, this uh, crossfeed. There's a light that's on dim. When it's, when it's active, it gets brighter. And hopefully you can pick that up on the camera. Let me bring this one a little close. This is the LED for the crossfeed right here. So if I move it, it gets brighter. And then it gets dim. It's bright and then dim. So it's responding well to the uh, intensity of the lights as well. Now these strips can be cut and wired or I was thinking one way that you might really make it easy to wire all these lights is just to address them where you want them. Put, put one light onto your switch there and then move this over. Your green ones could go up there. These strips are not particularly expensive and they come with a lot of lights on there so even if you don't use every one of them it would it would simplify the wiring of your overhead. I don't know if I have a Cori switch handy. You see how it looks backlit in there. Maybe something like that. Anyway, just ideas for you. All right, here's the XPL Pro sketch that makes this work for the Zybo 737 overhead lights. I've created a XPL LED strip that connects to your LED strip that you buy so you, to make this simple for you. Right here is it, I've connected it to pin 5 on my Mega. There's also I've told it that there's a maximum of 100 light so you can change that to whatever you need. In the setup we just begin the strip. I have a test on here that makes it flash when you start up just to make sure everything is communicating you could remove that and then the clear is to just clear it. Nothing in the loop. In the inbound handler we have it go out to, to check the strips and then in the register this is the hard part but I've got it all done for you. I'm going to clear the strip I've also added the set data flow speed and the reason I did that is because the um, if, if you test all these hundred or I think there's 73 lights that I have configured so far if you test those with the uh, test on the aircraft panel it tries to turn them all on at one time and and the, the mega is just not fast enough to digest all of that information and process it and get them all so it will miss them so it, I've added this feature here that you can slow down the data rate so we only get like you can, you can play around with this there's there's some inefficiencies in the um, in the code that drives the NeoPixels and stuff because it's set up for many different platforms so there's things that can be tweaked here or different libraries that might be more efficient to make it faster but you can slow it down here and it and it works as well so on each line for each data ref, we're going to tell it, tell it which data ref we've got. I've got, in this case, whatever that is. There's yaw damp, there's uh, valves that are, can be opened and closed. We request updates to those data refs, and then we just add a pixel telling it which handle and the color that you want. So this is, th this is the uh, data ref handle that gets returned. This is the element, in case it's an array. The Zybo stuff doesn't use that, so you can just put a zero in there, which is the first element. This is the pixel that we want to light up on the strip. 
it doesn't have to be sequential so in this case I want pixel number two lit and then this is the color uh, our uh, red green and blue levels so this one's going to be probably amber with um, mostly red and some and some green and no blue and these colors here's like here's a uh, here's a blue light and so on and so forth and there's a lot of these that seems to work just fine I have it clear the strip on the shutdown of X-Plane but that's, that's all there is to it I hope this is helpful to you I have a lot more stuff coming I have some interesting new toys coming as well so I hope to see you in the next video I'll see you next time have an awesome day